Hey everyone, it's Coach Mark here from Mr. Triathlon. In this week's video, I'm going to talk about why kicking too hard can make you slower. We all want to be faster, right? One thing I hear from a lot of people when they want to try and improve at swimming is they say, oh, I'm so lazy, I just don't kick my legs hard enough. Um, I'm trying my best to kick my legs harder. And to be honest, I think that's one of the worst things you can do when you're swimming, certainly for endurance. So if people tell me that they kick, they don't kick hard enough and they want to kick more, is I get them to do a little exercise. I get them to do 100 meters of kicking. You know, sometimes with the float, or preferably without the float, one hand on top of the other, just kick for four lengths. And then they get back, I say, right, let's do it again. And after two times, they go, that's ridiculous. That's so hard, I don't want to do it. Because they're so tired. And that's exactly the reason why I get them to do it. It makes you realize that kicking is hard. If you kick really hard, and most people hate those kicking drills, and the reason is because it's really tiring. And if you kick really hard, you're gonna get tired. And the same thing in your swimming. Okay, you might think it's gonna make you faster, but if you're kicking really hard, um, it's gonna tire you out, it's gonna make you tense up a little bit, and it's gonna make you a slower swimmer. The way to get faster at swimming is to try and f focus on that front end of the stroke, developing a really good catch and just relaxing the legs off okay you still need to use them to balance your stroke and you still get a bit of propulsion from it but i'd prefer people just not to try and kick so hard and just naturally get a bit of propulsion from it with a few simple drills so after they've done the kicking drills and they no longer hate me the next thing i get them to do is use a pull boy so it's one of these things you come in all shapes and sizes it doesn't matter which one it is as long as it's quite buoyant and then what you do is you put that between the legs push it up as far as it'll go and then use that so that you don't kick anymore. It gives you some buoyancy at the back end of your stroke and means that you don't kick your legs at all. People think it's cheating but it's a really good training aid. So when you do that, it forces you to get the power from your arms so you then start to use your arms to propel you forwards and you don't kick your legs at all. And what people find then is that they actually go faster without kicking the legs at all. And this is when the alarm bells go off and they think, hang on a minute, if I, do, if I kick less hard, I actually go faster. And that's when it starts to make a bit of sense. So by not kicking your legs at all, it feels easier and you go faster. And that's the whole principle of kicking too hard is going to make you slower. Then you can do some drills. So when you take the pull boy out, then your legs are going to sink down. So what you can do is do a couple of really simple drills just to make sure you're engaging the legs properly without over kicking so that they don't sink back down. And I use two different drills. Um, we do an exercise where you just push and glide from the side of the pool. So tuck your head in under your arms, push and glide. And then I get them with their legs um, to feel the glutes, to squeeze the glutes together. And you can sometimes pretend you've got a coin in between your glutes and you don't want to let it slip into the pool. It enables you to, to squeeze your bum cheeks together and then try and introduce this kick. And it helps you engage the glutes and keep a nice long leg kick. The other one you can try and do is try and um, get your feet, turn them slightly inwards and just tap your big toes together. I know this sounds like it's probably really going to hurt, but it actually hurts nowhere near it. It doesn't hurt at all, so just give it a go. It, it actually is easier than it sounds. So turn your legs inwards very slightly and just tap your big toes together. This helps you to keep your legs nice and long and helps you to get a better and more efficient leg kick, um, as I mentioned earlier. And depending on, I found that different people seem to respond better to the one or the other drills. So try them both and see which one works for you. So either really squeezing the bum cheeks together so you engage the glutes and keep legs long, or you can just try tapping your big toes together and just making, and trying to keep the legs nice and efficient that way. So the next time you go to the pool, Give, the, give some of these drills a try and hopefully just let me know if these work for you. You know, pop something in the comments and let me know how you get on with them. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video.